What's going on? How are you guys today? Welcome back to Best Burger Reviews, where we rate the best burger at a particular establishment. Today we are at Walensky's Grill, which is the casual spin-off of the much more famous Smith and Walensky, arguably like the most old school kind of New York City steakhouse style restaurant. You know, I actually remember I came here one night after, oh, that's a long story, but I got fired from a job and I came here one night to have dinner and I uh, couldn't even get a spot. The place was so packed, every single table, every single bar seat, completely packed full. This place has always been busy. Uh, famous for the prime rib, I believe, but I guess just steaks in general. And we are trying their burger today. So, this was $25. And a fairly nice container. It smells excellent. These look like um, nice Toyota, huh? Anyway, waffle fries with some Parmesan on the top. It's good. It's like junk food, you know? 7 2 on the fries, 7 2. They're good. Nice seasoning, crispy, soft on the inside. Could use a little more salt, and they're very, very greasy. Now for the burger. <clears throat> so, as classic as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. Toasted bun, lots of cheddar cheese on top, nicely caramelized patty, and you can tell this is a hand-formed patty. You know, it's not symmetrical, it doesn't, it's kind of thick, it's kind of weird shaped. Maybe they could use a little more attention to detail, but it looks good. And they got plenty of cheese on it. I don't have one of those like Neanderthal Northern European jaws, ladies and gentlemen. I can't. I don't know why I always get disappointed by these steakhouses. You are medium rare, right? Yeah. You know the problem is real. You got these like, and like these old school places where you got these like snobby rich people coming in, and they think they like medium rare meat. I bet you the chefs were used to cooking meat medium rare and the people would send it back saying it's underdone. So now when people order medium rare, they send them like a medium, medium well burger instead. So even if that was cooked properly, the cheese isn't that great and the bun isn't that great. So it's not a bad burger. I think it's just, I think it's just a little bit undersalted. Just needs a little bit more salt, then it might be better. But as is, 6.5. 6.5 Walensky Grill. Look. Look, the, the fries are excellent. The fries are really good. I like the fries a lot. Very, very tasty fries. The burger's not bad. You know, it's fresh, it's good. It's better than a lot of the other steakhouses we've been to, but Maybe middle of the road. If you guys do want something that's high quality, you can check out frankiestrangemeat.com for our custom best burger blend, as well as a variety of high quality cheeses to pair with your burger. Check it out guys, frankiesfreerangemeat.com before I drop dead from all the grease clogging my brain. Well, that's not good. You're really uh, making me lose it. 